let me introduce the next uh, presentation on it will be presented by captain bc and chandrasena uh, research interest in water management infrastructure planning and urban design the topic will be development of an integrated urban drainage cycle management mode for city of colombo um, the paper has been presented by it will be presented by nadisha tandrasena uh, captain nadisha is a phd candidate of department of civil engineering university of technology petronas malaysia she is a chartered town planner of sri lanka army her research interest includes water resources management infrastructure planning and urban development and there are two more uh, contributors to the paper uh, that is from the university of malaysia Good morning everybody. My title is Development of an Integrated Urban Drainage Cycle Management Model for City of Colombo. This is the recent research I am engaged in for my PhD. Uh, this is my presentation sequence. Introduction quickly go through on literature review, problem formulation, objectives scope and methodology expected outcomes and conclusions floods are the most frequently occurred uh, hazard event among all natural disasters but it is not same everywhere around the world it has disproportionate impact uh, on many cities where poor hit hardest now more than half of the world population has migrated to urban areas if we consider about asia at a glance world bank projected that 50% of asians will be living in urban areas by 2025 this urbanization is never ending process and many more people yet to be arrived on their way to cities but in asia 50% of urban population still lives in slums and shanties Asia is most visible with regard to its size biggest continent on the earth in geometrically and its uh, population size in statistically therefore we have to suffer mostly from the adverse impacts generated by population as well as spatial factors unplanned expansion of urban limits is the biggest uh, social spatial problem of this continent as a result most of the time urban areas tend to occupy hazard prone lands at present 13 mega cities with 10 to 15 million population exactly position on hazard prone lands and nine of them are located in asian continent excluding all man made controversies uh, such as war and crime asia is acclaimed as the most disastrous space on the earth so we are at a risk why drainage system fail in densely populated asian cities drainage improvement is one important factor to be considered in flood risk management but many asian cities staying far behind when compared to developed western urban drainage is one of the least developed physical infrastructure in many asian cities existing drainage system in many colonized asian cities are over 100 years old 
still work on without any maintenance. And we Asians still dump our solid waste into the nearest dream. As we all aware, many non-governmental organizations have been trying to change the solid waste disposing behavior of Asians and Africans since three decades. But they are unable to make any sensible change. So people throw rubbish to the drain and it overflows with the rain. This is not only a social problem. We have a problem of the skeleton of the cities. Can you pay your attention to this slide? It explains how British planned their settlements in colonized countries. Settlement of those cities were planned mostly in gradient form. Gradient form is this, where buildings in the middle of the land parcel and it's surrounded by another slot or a road complex. But most of the Asian cities get overcrowded with beginning of 1920s. And present city structure is linear. Present city structure is this, ribbon development. Now it's linear. All four cities considered here were major ports under British India Company and Dutch India Company. They were constructed and restructured according to European urban norms and standards. But now it overcrowded, it changed its urban form and developing along the main roads. Urbanization is a social phenomenon. Hence, it is very difficult to provide a structure for urbanization. City population increased, urban areas prolonged, environmentally sensitive areas encroached, and illegal construction occurred and employee settlements expanded. This is an unpredicted social hazard. Due to that, total townscape form has changed. Now it no longer belongs to any theoretical urban structure. But we still have colonial drainage designs which were planned and constructed according to urban structure existed 100 years ago. Candy is the best example. Uh, consider about the situation in Kandy in a rainy day, uh, 15 minutes small rainfall can generate a small flood within the city. Kandy was initially planned into grid and as a grid in city, but now it uh, reshaped and uh, drainage, of the drainage of this area uh, still flowing as grid. Let me explain the real problem within city of Kalam. 375 millimeter per hour rainfall can generate 8.3 uh, million cubic meter run of volume, but uh, drainage capacity of the city is 2%. Normally drainage system of a city can re uh, and uh, natural and artificial retention system should be able to cope 40% uh, of run of volume. But here only our uh, existing drainage uh, system uh, only accommodate 2%. So rest 38% uh, individually handled by uh, retention system. But that is very impracticable because our uh, landscape is uh, so much impervious now. So... Uh, in this research, we are considering the impact of solid waste factor and changes in urban structure uh, on the drainage system. Uh, here we are about to develop a spatial decision support system by using GIS on urban drainage. And finally, we are going to invent a solid waste resist urban drainage for compact cities. These uh, are our uh, research objectives. Let me explain uh, my case study area, it belongs to Kalambu 14, and I extracted Madam Pitya, Stadium Vatta, and uh, Kimula Ala, also Nagalam Street, uh, from this vote.